Thank you, Doctor. No, no, thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Thank you, Doctor. Who was I? Tell us, Doctor. Not again. <laughs> Welcome back to Anthony Sarai, where today we're jumping to Doctor Who. This is a Doctor Who Christmas special. So I'm really excited to be jumping into this Doctor Who special. It's been a while for me. It feels like because we've been watching Doctor Who twice a week, that now, since I've only been going down to once a week, it just feels very different. But after this, we'll be jumping into a season seven, and then I believe next week is when we'll be watching two episodes, because this is one uh, one reaction, and then later on in the week, we'll do another one, so that'll be two Doctor Whos, and then next week, following on, we'll go back to two Doctor Whos uh, a week. Actually, you'll see on the schedule, because actually one week, I might only do one, one Doctor Who to fit in my other TV shows, and then you guys know how rotation goes. Um, so I'm really excited, but you know, it was really interesting. The Doctor Who movie, which it seems like the vast majority of people were not really here for it. Um, it also seems like a lot of you guys also aren't really here for this, uh, special which is very very shocking because i thought that like you guys were looking forward to this like this was what you guys wanted to see um i'm really excited to see it because i really am it, it reminds me of the title narnia the narnia um title which i know from actually broadway plays more than the movie i really i think i see the movie i'm not really positive but if I didn't, I kind of want to watch it, and you guys could join me. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited to get into this. I do know the the play. I actually seen it in person twice somewhere, um, and I did read the book. I had the book, um, so I do know the Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe. So I guess this is kind of a spin off of that, but it seems like a lot of you guys really just didn't like it, which I'm really sad to hear, but I'm gonna go into it with an open mind because honestly, to tell you the truth, I think after midway of season one or series one, whichever they called it when they revamped this uh, show, um, I enjoyed Doctor Who almost every single episode. Maybe there was a couple episodes in some seasons that I really wasn't like that thrilled about, but I never really disliked anything. So, I'm really excited to get into this, guys. As you guys know, we have memberships here on this channel to help support this channel. So, if you guys would like to see this in full reactions, because I'm going to break this down into two parts, you guys can click that join button. And for the $4.99 tier, you guys will be able to see this reaction and all of my Doctor Who reactions and other TV show reactions. Also, so you guys know, season uh, seven, episode one, will be a full reaction for all of my channel members. And there, my channel members, when we before we get up to the, this is for the 99 cent tier because the 99 cent tier can request an episode. I'm going to do that for my my members. Like I'm here for my, I'm here for y'all. So before we get to the episode. Um, that you guys would like to see as a full reaction for the 99 cent tier ones, please comment on the episode before we get to the episode you would like to see. That episode I will then do for um, the bloopers, the 99 cent tier, and we'll move on like that. The $4.99 tier and the $9.99 tier, which also jumps into the $9.99 tier, jumps into all of my movies and TV show reactions. Movies are going to be start jumping back in. You, as you started to see, it's coming out. Um, you know, bear with me. But um, you get to see everything on this channel. And as we see, I'm starting to get adjusted to this uh, life of working very, very early and coming home, doing reactions, and then going out and living my best life. Um, I hope you guys are really enjoying all of these Doctor Who episodes and reactions and anything else that is posted on this channel. And now I'm going to shut up and give that intro that you guys want so bad. With that being said, guys, let's jump into Doctor Who. And let's find out exactly what the Doctor has got to give. What the hell is this? What? There's a doctor! Oh, what's going on? All of a sudden, the uh, thing we see him blow up 
something. Woo! Oh, what is this thing? Let's race this up some more, y'all. I can't hear. Oops. What? Is that an action? Can they space you? Can the doctor? Oh, he's in space! Ah, uh, where's his TARDIS? Words. So it's me uh, 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 Found a spaceman in a field, possibly an angel, but he's injured and I can't get his uh, helmet off. And to take him into town to find a police telephone box, all right? Oh. All right. Good boy. Where's she going? Out. <laughs> Should we just bump into something? No. No. Well, a lot of things get in the way. It's hardly my fault. Uh, no. Well, that's good. Oh, oh. This is a street lamp. Well, you're welcome to come to our house. No, 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 I'm fine. The key. Oh. Do you want me to do it with a pin? I'm good with a pin. Really susceptible to pointy things. Oh. Huh? Got it. You didn't have to, you know. You've been very kind. Uh, Don't be silly. It's Christmas Eve. Madge. Madge oh, well. If there's ever anything that I can do for you, let me know. Make a wish. That usually works. Oh. What's it? Oh, for me. You're here, aren't you? Do you think we could try again? Oh, that wasn't the box. You were a long time. Been taking home strays, as usual. Not the war again. That's the war again. We keep reading about the war, and it will actually happen. In the war? Three years later. Where are we? I don't know. Oh. Somewhere over the channel. What do I tell what? Anderson? Then we're going home for Christmas. Yes, sir. Oh, did he die? Ross over the channel, I regret to inform you. Your husband. When is father coming back? For Christmas, like he always does. Now hurry up and think of something. Daddy will be there. They don't know? Of course he will. Oh, that's Wish super sad. Why don't you tell him? Three. Make a wish. Oh, this is no good. Where's Mr. Cardew? He was supposed to be here. Maybe it's wanted by the ghost of Uncle Digby. Uncle Digby is still alive. Will Father be here? No. Well, he will wait. He said he'd meet us at the house. He'll be here. Of course he will. Father! Sorry! It's the door! What the hell? There we go. Now, don't worry. The back door is still, broadly speaking, operational. Thank, Thank you. you. Love would you mind carrying them for me? I need to show you around. Oh, no way! <laughs> you the new caretaker? Usually called the doctor. Or the caretaker. Or get off this planet. Oh. Smaller sitting room. Just chairs. I know. Kitchen! That's a cooker. Lemonade. Lemonade. I know. We'll have to walk up. Panthers? They're terrifying. Oh. You've never seen Panthers. Lily and Cyril's room. I'm going to be honest, masterpiece. Disguised oh. as a window, selection of torches for midnight stalls with comical expressions, the Magna Carta. Ooh. Where is the bed? Oh. Fit everything in there had to be sacrificed. Hammers. Oh. For God's sake. Please stop talking. Can you please just stop? <laughs> Go downstairs. She is oh, so adorable, this lady. I, like, love her accent. Why are you doing all this? I'm just trying to take care of things. That's not oh. what caretakers do. Then why are uh. they called caretakers? Lily and Cyril's father. My husband is dead and they don't know yet. Christmas will always be what took their father away from them and no one should have to live like that. I don't know why I keep shouting at them. Because every upset. time you see them happy, you remember how sad they're going to be. It breaks your heart. Yes. 
what's the point in them being happy now if they're going to be sad later? Oh. The answer is, of course, because they are going to be sad later. I think they may have found the main sitting room. I even love her outfit. This lady is life. Oh, look at this. I know. Me? Who says it's for all of us? I'm youngest. Doesn't say who it's from. Mother, who left this here? She must stay away from him. I like him. Uh -huh. I like him too. Say the thing you always say. Uh -huh. This Christmas is going to be the best Christmas ever. Uh -huh. I'm just lighting up. What's that mean? Lily! Shut up. <laughs> what do you think that present is? Is she going to sink and look? <laughs> oh. uh. You were lying about the Panthers. Why have you got a phone box in your room? It's not a phone box, it's my wardrobe. I've just painted it to look like a phone box. Who are you? Uh-oh. Really, who are you? Your brother, where is he? About to open the present! Uh-oh. Who put that box there? I thought it was a doctor. Still in bed, asleep. Okay. Why should I? What? What was that? Uh oh. <laughs> You're sure he's still in bed? Oh, whatever it was hatched. Oh, I thought oh, she lied. Zero! What's happening? I don't... Come on! Oops! Where are we? In a forest, in a box, in a sitting room. From near across the dimensional plate. What do they teach you in schools these days? Nothing. But I don't understand where we are. <laughs> present, and it wasn't supposed to be open until Christmas Day. Honestly, who opens their Christmas presents early? Shut up, everyone. <laughs> Fairyland? Oh, grow up, Lily. Uh -huh. Fairyland, which these are the ones he was following. Oh. Notice anything? Whatever your brother's following, it's growing. Uh -huh. Well, then we have to get after him. Of course it's alive, it's a tree. Oh. Is it dangerous? Oh, every rose has its thorns. <laughs> oh, how cool is that? Oh. I don't understand. Brilliant idea for a Christmas trip, or it should have. Do you know the difference between wind and trees talking to each other? No wind. Oh. I've been here many times, but I've never heard the trees so active. What are you doing? Ah, what the f is that? Sorry, Lily, I really am, but there is something very wrong in this forest. Yeah. Uh-oh. Cyril Arwell, where are you? <laughs> the doctor, the witch, and the wardrobe. So, something that hatched out of the tree is probably a tree. Maybe it's that thing. I don't know. This boy is brave. And you gotta close it up behind you? It's alive. Who 
why would you bring <laughs> us to Earth? This is one of the safest planets I know. There's never anything dangerous here. And so now. There are sentences I should just keep away from. What is that? What? Oh. Oh. Unarmed, sir. What the hell are you doing here? I say we can tell the difference between wool and sidearms. We can tell the difference. <laughs> Do you understand what is about to happen in this forest? I was thinking she's a time traveller. And we're sure it's not her cardigan. It was Christmas! They're not really Christmas trees. What's this lady? Looks like she's getting a crown. To who? Aha! What are we going in? Well, Cyril, then! What's that statue? What is it? It's like a king. Impossibly, but not a statue. Patched from the bauble on a tree, grew to this size in less than an hour, I'd say. And so oh. is this building. This building, it isn't a building. It's a group of trees grown in the shape of a building, disguised. So a forest grows a building. Why would it do that, Lily? I don't know. Why is there honey in a honey trap? The thing about people, we can never resist a door. So this is a trap. Right. Why does a forest need people? We should go. We have to get out of here. Okay, uh, your brother's upstairs. Please stop crying. I can't interrogate you while you're crying. <laughs> Military engagements? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? I have mother issues, sir. It's all on fire. Unarmed female civilian. I'm thinking of the visual. It means there's no visual. Want me to shoot her, sir? No! Oh, this visual's deteriorating, Shut. sir. I am respecting her as a woman, sir. Oh. oh. We're stepping away from our guns. Now can we interrogate you? The year is 5345, and we mean you no harm. Where are you from? England. 1941. And there's a war on. Oh. Crying's ever so useful, isn't it? Nothing you could say that would convince me you'd ever use that gun. Really? Well, I'm looking for my children. Oh, uh, why are you trying to put the crown on now? Oh, of course, it's wood. It's rubbish or wood. This disguise wood. Have you been listening? Ah. Don't sit on the thing. There's stars coming out. Why? Really? Sarah? It's a bit out of the trees. What is that? Your life force just singing. What? Beautiful. Crying when you're happy. Happy for you. He's gonna turn into a tree. It drives the platform. I don't understand. How did I get? Here. Yes. Found a way in. Maybe a kids did too. Duh. Then God help them. Why do you say that? We can do a scan for life forms. <laughs> Why did you say God help my children? This forest is about to be harvested. The entire area is being melted down for battery fluid. Come, how do you melt a forest? Acid rain. Anyone still out there in five minutes is going to burn. That's horrible. Kedigar is coming. Oh. What's wrong with him, Kedigar? Was he dead? So what are you then? Not a king. Life. Queen. Look. Like the life force is leaving the forest. Yeah, what's going on? I don't think they're bad. It's okay. I think they just want to talk to us. They're scared. Oh. Can't you hear them? No, but you can. You're connected to them. Trust them. Uh. I can't drive the platform. Well, it looks a little like a plane. It takes years of training. Uh, Scanning for an acid rain alert. Five minute warning. Uh -oh. Acid fall is coming. You won't last two minutes. Go, go. 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 Go.